Good morning, America. This is Eddie Marcus here. Earlier this morning, well, we've had the Democratic first debate. The second one ended last night, and I've made responses to the first one after it was over. I made a response to the first, the second one before it started, and then I made a statement after it was over. But this morning, I've been led to give you a different message because many of you are wondering that since I'm constantly speaking about God, what is it that I know about God that you don't know? And if I got something to say, if God wants to say something to them, be bold enough to stand up and say it. And so here I am this morning, bold enough to stand up and tell you what God wants. This, my friends, is what God wants. God wants what he has prepared for. This earth is here because of God. Human beings are on this earth because of God. God is love. God embedded within this earth, on it, above it, seen and unseen, whatever is ever required essentially for the preservation of humankind on this earth. That's love. God preparing for his human kids to live here as though they're in heaven. Now, when God made this preparation, it was for everybody. What is, what is it that God wants? What is essentially necessary for survival? Health care, education, food, clothing, and shelter. That's absolutely necessary for survival. Now, how did God plan for this to get met? By everybody who is old enough and have an idea of what it is they want to do. And everybody got an idea of what they want to do. To engage in it. That basically means every human being that is qualified, old enough, and to go to work, but not just any job, a job of their own choosing, a job of their choosing. Why a job of their choosing? Because it gives them the greatest joy of having a purpose here in life and having the opportunity to exercise that purpose. And by exercising that purpose, they are engaging with one another to be the owners of all the things that exist by the hand, hand of mankind. That is God's plan. And by so doing it, it makes every last one of them entitled to whatever is designed for the preservation of their survival. Every last one of them. Nobody is denied this benefit. None. This is God's plan. Now, you got everybody working. You got everybody participating. I'm not talking about America. I'm talking about every country where human beings live. Everybody participating in that process. And everybody reaps the benefit of their labor. Now, right now you're talking about Trump. Who is, who's the problem? Evil is the problem. The dictators of the world are the worst enemies. They are the most evil people on the face of the earth. People who kill folks. People who go to war just to have their way. And what they actually are doing, ladies and gentlemen, is trying to usurp the power of God by becoming God themselves. They are absolutely wrong. God knows it. But they can do nothing without you. Without you agreeing with it for whatever reason. If you agree with it, you're going along with everything. So what I'm saying is this. God is holding all human beings responsible for the suffering of other human beings that's on this earth. There's no other way to look at it. So you think those of you in America who sit up and talk about what's going on and how damaging it is and how evil Trump is, Trump came on the scene because you are not individually as evil as Trump, but collectively you are as evil as Trump. So everybody in America, everybody in Central America, and all of these nations, in Russia, wherever people are, where suffering takes place, in North Korea, we talk about whatever that guy's name is over there in charge, but he's able to do the things that he does because of the people there in North Korea and the people here in America, and the people in all the other parts of the world, you put up with it. So what God is saying to all of the people on earth is that you might as well start complaining. These things happen because of you. Now you get on social media, you hear people talking about how damaging this is. The little kid holding her father's neck, 
who drowned just the other day trying to find a place to some kind of godliness. And now everybody's talking how devastating this is, how low down this is. Hey, brothers and sisters, all of you are responsible. It's not just Donald Trump alone. It's every last one of you. Every Democratic interest in the being president of the United States, not a single one of them shared God's plan with you. The president never, ever has shared God's plan with you. You don't even get God's plan anywhere. You are as ignorant of it as you are speaking foreign languages. You don't know anything about it. You don't, where can you get it from? Many of you, what you hear right now, if you hear it, is the first time you have ever heard it. And you don't believe it. Why? Because you have been brought up in darkness to believe that your system is the best system on the face of the earth. And Lord forbid if you got a job that you can make some ends meet. Oh, you whew, trying to change your mind? Well, I'm going to tell you. Every evil thing that's happening on this earth is because evil sticks up its ugly head and finds some way to bind the people. And everybody here in America is responsible for the shortcomings of here in America. And you're not being given any information that would lead you above that from anybody that's trying to lead you. And you're trying to choose from amongst them which one you want. And you think that makes you better. You're all crooks. You're all enemies of God. You're all little agents of Satan. And you don't believe that because you know you're better than somebody else. But God says you're all. And if you want to please God, you'll stand up and refuse to live in conditions like this. If you want to please God, you will stand up and refuse to live in a world like this. So if you don't want to die, stand up and do something about it. This is what God wants. Are you willing?